Hey guys. Now, Monique from the Real Housewives of Potomac, who is currently on Love and Marriage DC, she spoke to the Neighborhood Talk regarding what happened in the episode Sunday with Mia and Wendy. And I expected her to say something for the simple fact that Wendy brought up the Monique fight, you know, when she was saying how, you know, Giselle and Robin were not scolding Mia or holding her accountable like how they did Monique. So this is what she said. Let's take a look. I'll read it, um, what she said regarding this. She said that the headline says that Monique Samuel says she told Wendy that her and her family would be next on the hit list, claimed some of the women are real life miserable. She had every right to defend herself. So this is what Monique said. She said, I don't know the entire story, but I applaud Wendy for not getting physical as I did after I was hit in the face with the glass. She said exclusively to the neighborhood talk. She had every reason to defend herself after being splashed in the face and then apparently hit with a purse, and she chose to use her words instead. Um, then it goes on to say, during Mia and Wendy's altercation, Wendy name dropped Monique to call out Giselle's hypocrisy of condoning violence in the situation, but condemning Monique for her fight against Candace in season five. Monique claims that though she doesn't watch the show, she's not surprised at some of the ladies' actions. She says that she applauds Wendy for keeping her composure, but she told her at the season five reunion that she would be next for ridic ridicule, and lo and behold, she was 100% correct. So now... Monique is saying that she warned Wendy in the reunion on season five, you know, when she had the binder and was ripping Jamal to shreds. So she claims that she told her that then. Now, also, she says, one thing Wendy said to me back then at Karen's home was she would never get physical. She would use her words. Clearly, she lived up to that statement in this moment. I told her at the season five reunion, she and her family would be next. They hate with some... The hate with some of these women is not for the camera. They're real life miserable. One thing Wendy should understand is that it's not about her actions or lack thereof. She could have sat there quietly and they still would have found reason to ice her out. The same ladies who told me words or even antagonizing someone is not grounds for getting physical or defending a person who got physical over Peter Thomas. LOL, just wow. So that's what Monique said. I agree when it comes to the Peter Thomas thing, because I was even shocked. Like he started this whole mess. He, it's because of him and him sending messages through Mia that the whole thing even started. But Monique, this is, this is what I have to say, because back when season five happened, I wasn't doing YouTube videos. Of course, I would have loved to talk about that, but you were really, really, you did Candace dirty. What happened with Mia and Wendy was bad. And yes, security was there. And, you know, it didn't get to the level where they really, would, you know, touched each other. It was bad. But Monique, the way you did Candace was worse. So it all started, remember when Karen and, not Karen, when Candace and Monique were arguing. They were standing, going back and forth. And then you see Candace's hair up in the air, right? Because why? Monique had flipped her hair. So Monique technically touched Candace first. Yes, she did. Which prompted Candace to throw her glass or splash her drink in um, Monique's face. That's when it got physical. Just look at the way, look at how she has Candace's hair in her hand. No one could even get it off for like a couple of minutes. This fight lasted a while. She would not let go of her hair for, for nothing. She had, look how she had it balled up. Look at all the hands trying to get that one hand off of her hair. So, Monique, you were wrong for that. You were so wrong for that. And the way Candace runs her mouth, and I know I say that about Candace because she does, she didn't deserve that. So I expected her to speak regarding what happened, but to compare, I, I don't. I'm not comparing it. Because even though Mia got physical with Wendy, 
it was still them more so cursing each other out, throwing shots at each other, saying things like that, insulting each other. That's really what it was. This right here was straight physical. After the, the talking back and forth, the glass, you pulling her hair, then the glass, this was like, mm -mm. you went way too far, Monique, way too far. And of course, you see how she had that busted lip. I guess the glass hit her in the lip. But I mean, listen, you touched her first. This was just, this was just bad. I, I felt so bad for Candace. So Monique, I really think this is not even about an issue of if you were lighter and had done that, they would, this was bad on all levels. I don't care who did this. You were wrong for that, for, for handling Candace that way. And I'm going to always feel that way when it comes to that. I don't care who else fights later on. Don't compare. I don't care. Like this, it took a whole bunch of people, including producers or whoever was on set, having to break this up. This was bad. This was so bad. So guys, l um, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about Monique talking to blogs about what happened because she just horrible. You were wrong for that, Monique. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and I'll talk to all of you again soon.